This is the key English test. Paper two. Listening. Test number two. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. Example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What is John going to do tonight? Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No, he's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Now listen again. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No, he's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Two. Which is Ben's family? Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Now listen again. Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Three. Which bag does the woman buy? I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Now listen again. I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Four. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at thirty pence, thirty-five pence, or forty pence? The ones at thirty pence, please. Now listen again. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at thirty pence, thirty-five pence, or forty pence? The ones at thirty pence, please. Five. What time does the film start? Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. 
The film begins at quarter past eight. Okay, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at um about five to eight. All right. See you then. Now listen again. Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. The film begins at quarter past eight. Okay, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at um about five to eight. All right. See you then. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Liz and Michael talking about rooms in a hotel. They are going to paint the rooms. What color are they going to paint each room? For question six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each room. You will hear the conversation twice. Michael, we must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No. Let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green, so I think the walls should be light green. Okay. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No, something different. Perhaps grey, or is blue prettier? All right, a nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office, how about red? Oh no, that must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine, at least one room will be my favourite colour. Now listen again, Michael. We must paint some of the rooms in the hotel. Yes, Liz. What colour paint shall we have? Well, I think the dining room should be white. Yes, white is best for the dining room. But I'd like something brighter in the television room. What about red? Hmm. I think it should be white too. No, let's have something more interesting in the television room. Do you like yellow? Yes, a light yellow is all right. Now, what about the bedrooms on the first floor? Well, the curtains are dark green, so I think the walls should be light green. Okay. Shall we have the same colour in the second floor bedrooms too? No, something different. Perhaps grey, or is blue prettier? All right, a nice light blue on the second floor. And for the office, how about red? Oh no, that must be grey. You can have red in the kitchen. Fine, at least one room will be my favourite colour. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Sarah talking to her friend Jane about a new job. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. 
You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job, five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? I got £180 a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's £6 an hour. So that's about... um. £210 a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No. We go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well, I have four weeks. Some people have five. But when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes. Why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F-A-W-C-E-T-T. -T. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. Now listen again. Three six double eight seven nine. Jane, it's Sarah. Are you still looking for a job? Yes, I am actually. Well, my boss, who's the sales manager, needs a new secretary. Oh. Well, tell me something about the job. Well, Jane, it's a full-time job, five days a week. What time do you start in the morning? At nine o'clock. You can catch the 8.30 train with me. OK. And what's the pay like? I got £180 a week in my last job. Oh, you can earn more here. It's £6 an hour. So that's about um, £210 a week. What do you do for lunch, Sarah? Do you take sandwiches? No. We go to a little cafe near the park. And how many weeks holiday do you have? Well, I have four weeks. Some people have five. But when you start, Jane, you only have three. Right, I see. Um, shall I phone the sales manager? Yes, why not? His name's Mr. Fawcett. What? Fawcett. F A W. C E double T. Well, thanks very much. Good luck. Bye, Jane. Bye. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Good morning. International Language School, can I help you? 
Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the third of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes, the school is at fifty-seven, London Road. Just a moment, I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes, it's a long road, and we're quite near the station. Okay, I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course. Begins on the third of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes, the school is at fifty-seven, London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes, it's a long road, and we're quite near the station. Okay, I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a town in Scotland. Listen, and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning and welcome to Scotland. Good morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim, and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful. Firstly, the banks. They're open from nine thirty in the morning until four o'clock in the afternoon. That's nine thirty until four. They're open every day except Sunday, but on Sunday you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number twenty-one. There are buses every fifteen minutes, so you won't have to wait long. You'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. Good. A ticket to the city centre. Costs sixty pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant.、Oh, I hope I'll see you all there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now listen again. Good morning and welcome to Scotland. Good morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim, and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful.、Oh, <laughs> Firstly, the banks. 
They're open from 9.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's 9.30 until 4. They're open every day except Sunday. But on Sunday, you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number 21. There are buses every 15 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. You'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. Oh, good. A ticket to the city centre costs 60 pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant. Oh, I hope I'll see you all there. Thank you. Thank you, though. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test.